Oh not yeah. Challenging is Justin Jefferson to defend. Oh, very challenging. You know, he's one of the top receivers in the league. Um, playing at a high level right now, and uh, the whole team, their whole team, playing at a high level. Um, but he he's taking it to another level for sure. How do you relish that challenge? Uh, we got great guys too. You know, Trey playing at a high level, and uh, all our, our defensive guys playing at a high level too. So it's going to be a, a battle. When the run defense has been an issue, does the secondary, do you guys kind of focus more on just trying to lock things down to help them? Uh, we try to do as we can, but, you know, um, but the run game is more setting edges. You know, the ball getting to the edge very quick. Um, corners got to show up, safeties, and um, just everybody staying in the gap will be good. Anthony, have you had a concussion like this before, or is this something different than anything you've ever experienced? I had one my rookie year. It was pretty similar, very mild, and uh, I played the next week, so I, f I feel good. Right now, you feel okay. yeah, feel good. Can you talk a little bit about the, the challenge of um, trying to defend a passing attack like the Vikings have? Obviously, everybody knows about Justin Jefferson, but Adam Thielen, he, he hasn't lost his stuff either. TJ Hawkinson comes in via trade with 16 receptions already for Kirk Cousins. How difficult is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be very difficult. We're going in their home in Minnesota. They're 8 1. You know, they feel like they're the top one of the top teams in the NFC, and we feel like we're one of the top teams in the NFC. So um, it's going to be a battle. This We playing them three years in a row in Minnesota. So, um, <laughs> It's gonna be a good matchup. It's gonna be good. Does it surprise you that y'all are favored in the game? Oh, I didn't know. We, what's the um, point spread? <laughs> oh, that's that's even, basically. Yeah, that's even. What have you learned from facing Kirk Cousins about what he brings? Uh, he's a competitor. You know, Kirk. Um, he gonna fight to the end. Um, he give his guys a chance. That's one thing he will do. He's gonna give his guys a chance, and um, he gonna fight to the end. What's it like to watch Jefferson on tape and catch nine balls when he's technically not open? It's, it's, it's crazy, but, um, you know, I like it. You know, it's it's a challenge that everybody on TV see, but it's a challenge. It's great because you get to be the one to try to stop that. So going out there this week and going against him, it'll be fun. And um, I'm up for the challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they've got a new offense, new offense, coordinator, all that good stuff. Have you seen anything different in how they utilize him in this offense than the two previous years when you played him? Because uh, he was always getting targets even last year. He got a lot of targets. So he's doing pretty much the same stuff. Their whole offense is just playing at a high level right now, and that's what opened up things for him, I would say. The run game, um, now they got Hawkinson, so I feel like that opened it up for him more. Were you part of the leadership council meeting yesterday? I wasn't. I wasn't. What can you say about how different the feeling is for the defense now compared to earlier in the season when you guys were really on fire and kind of the growing you're trying to do and, and learning from some of the things that have gone wrong? Well, we know every week is not going to be, you know, um, perfect and how we like it. So we still feel the same way. We're still confident. We still feel like we some bad, some bad um, MFers, <laughs> as DQ would say. Mm -hmm. um, we just got to put it back on film, you know, um, get back to what we do best. And step, step one, step two, step three, just fit brick by brick.